Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 79 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Ottomans. We're now at war with the Papal State. It's a war that I started. I thought it'd be nice to have some land from them. Uh, Papal State are mainly being um, fought by France over here. The Netherlands are getting a little bit involved. Papal State's army actually just got um, destroyed there, which is nice. Uh, let me go ahead and get these uh, troops landed. Because I do want to try and take that fort back if I can. Although Papal State's army may retreat all the way down here. So we do have to be a little bit careful about that. Keep our eye on things. We did get this um, fort, however. So it's time to start moving in with some of these armies. We need to go and start taking some of these provinces. So the question is, where is the Papal State going to attempt to go? Are they going to come all the way down here? Or are they going to... No, they've actually stopped in their own land, I think. Which is good for us. But we do need to keep our eye on things up here very, very carefully. Because we don't want them to come back up here and um, get the drop on us, so to speak. So I'm basically going to try and have my entire army all sort of in these provinces. If they come north and try and engage me here, then we'll just sort of merge all of our armies together and... Um, sort of have one giant stack. In the meantime, we need to be very careful that they don't come down here and try and uh, get rid of this stack here. It was going to take forever, to be honest, um, because we don't have control of that fort. We don't have any siege value there either. Uh, we can't move any further forwards until this fort falls. So we're going to basically have to move in there and try and get that to drop as quickly as possible. Now, Wurzburg still want peace. Do we have a full siege on them yet? Um, no, we're just still waiting for the Netherlands to finish up there. However, we can go ahead and bring you back. So we've got some additional reinforcements close by. Better still. I mean, how far south are you going to march? If you're going to come all the way down here and hassle me, I'm a little bit worried. However, if I can get my um, fleet to pick those guys up... Yeah, because you, you're just sort of all over the place. Uh, let's get you to march closer to home. So let's get you down to here, for example. And then it's a short journey. We could pick those guys up and have the guy with the really good siege value down here helping out. So that would be useful. Uh, we were caught spying on... Um, the Papal State, which is now unfortunate because that reduces our um, siege uh, ability or our siege speed against them. If only this would hurry up and fall. Yeah, I don't have very good vision in case they try and sneak through here to, to reclaim this. So I've really got to sort of keep my eye on what they're doing. They do have a navy. They've mostly lights though, so I'm not too concerned about that. I could break my heavies out. Actually, let's break the heavies out. We'll go and blockade them in. Where's the heavies? Let's just... We probably won't even get a chance to get them in battle, but it's worth having them sort of on standby anyway. And France is still buzzing around here. Netherlands, have you managed to get that last province? No, but 57% chance it's going to happen soon. Brandenburg has cancelled military access. We've suffered some casualties, which is probably attrition more than anything else. Right, we've managed to get over here. Let's go and pick you guys up nice and quick, if we can. My only concern now, of course, is if, if the Papal State move their units down here, I can't get away from them too easily. And I can't fit both of these armies in the boat at once. So, got to be careful. We just need this um, fort to fall, though, and things will be a lot better for us. More heretic conversions done. Let's go for um, another Coptic one. We're going to have quite a few, uh, quite a few Catholic ones to do soon. Now, most of the Papal State lands will be quite well developed, so we won't be able to take huge chunks of it. I was just going to say, why is this fort on? But of course, this fort is currently controlled by um, by the Papal State. That's why. Come on, 28%. And we got it. Fantastic. So now these armies can actually start moving forwards. Who's the guy with all the siege? This one. So we want to just march straight down to Rome. But we don't want to go alone. 
because we know that the AI has a lot of units in there. We've just bumped into a 70 stack, but we are about to reinforce. We can repay one of our loans. Now, we do have a penalty here, apparently, which is a crossing penalty. But we still managed to um, win that battle, and we are marching straight into Rome. So if they stop there, which they're not, they're actually moving down here. Well, so, no, I thought some were going to stop in Rome. So, let's move you onto that fort. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about all of these units that are here. Because technically, we are still the aggressors because we don't control the fort. But if those guys keep them busy... We do have our three-star general down there, though, which makes life a little bit easier. And we are starting to really gain uh, traction on some of these provinces now. Let's go and put some more men in Rome, because negative 78% chance is quite a, you know, a penalty. Again, it's still playing the Christmas music. It is the 19th of January. Why is it playing the Christmas music? I thought it only played it in December. And that it doesn't have the button to skip the music track like it does in CK2. I can't, they actually added that into Crusader Kings 2, but they never added it into EU4, and I have no idea why. So, that's that done. There's an 8 stack there who is basically... Oh, we can't reach you. Well, that's unfortunate. I was going to say, you'd be ripe for the taking if you get out of the way. I guess we could go around here and blockade. Uh, in fact, we don't need to maintain our relations there. What I would like to do, though, is make sure we do keep topping things off with both Spain and the Netherlands. Uh, so, let's go and work on that. We want to make sure we keep one diplomat free for piecing out. And uh, let's go and start making sure we are building up a spy network against Spain so we can take some more stuff from them. That's interesting. Uh, Wurzburg, how did you get up there? Wurzburg is 100% sieged though, so uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, we don't have a diplomat now? Oh yeah, we've got one that's coming back. Four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. So what could we do? We can't take any land from you. We can get war reps from you. We can get all of you, the money from you, which isn't much. Um, get you to end your treaties with Scandinavia and the Commonwealth. Or we could just break them into little tiny pieces. Sure, let's just go and break them up. Start fracturing the HRE. So that sort of slows them down a little bit. So, how are my heavies doing? Are they fully repaired? Yes, they are. So let's come down here and blockade Rome. They may move out with this. They only have one... They don't even have a single heavy here, actually. They're all light. So they may not, they may not even come out to fight me. If they do, I'll just use my trade fleet. It depends how much of a blockade we get. But yeah, I can always use the trade fleet to blockade, so... I just prefer not to if I don't have to, because obviously they're helping trade, which is giving me money. Yeah, we're only 39% here, so for the time being, um, the trade fleet is going to be repurposed. I know you're doing excellent work, but get here and blockade. Looks like you're, you're attempting to march north, which is fine. No, you changed your mind. Ah, oh, flip. Now we've got stuck. We do have the numbers here. Yep, you go and throw an 8 stack at a 95 stack. Now, they've just managed to majorly reinforce there, but I think we will still win that. They've, they're the ones with the terrain penalty here. We'll lose the prestige. We're at war. Getting the prestige back won't be a problem. Uh, we actually might lose this. That is a very long way to have to walk. Have I got anybody else up here that can help? No. And that just unseized itself. No, we did actually win there. Will you get yourself in there then? We'll keep trying to get this one to flip. We'll move you over there. We just got an automatic stack wipe on a... 10 to 1 size army, so let's turn that off. 
Obviously, this siege is going a lot faster now we are blockading. Uh, we've managed to gain these ones as well. So let's go and start sitting on that province. Make sure we're on pause. And obviously, the Netherlands and France are going to come in here and help us as well. I thought I turned that forced march off. Evidently not. Truth with Mainz has ended. Yeah, you guys are going to be in a lot of trouble soon. Uh, we'll go and dock you up, actually. Let's go ahead and turn that fort off. We don't need it on. Just costing us money, which we don't necessarily have that much of. Now, we may well end up with a naval combat here. When these guys get pushed out. But I think we'll probably... They'll probably lose more than we will. So we just got to be careful with these units and where they think they're going to move in. Because I'm almost certain they will attempt an attack at some point. Another conversion. So let's... Well, there's only a couple of Catholic ones left. So let's go ahead and get them done for now. So you might just sit around in here. If, if either of these forts fall though, we'll actually be able to move in on them. So that'll make life a little bit easier. They come down here and try and attack me in this province. I think we. Uh, you're going in there, are you? That is delightful. Because you're going to get yourself trapped in a corner. And you are locked. Sure. I'll take that fight. Peasant regiment, regiments in Crane. That's annoying. You've got no leader, and we've got a 32 stack up there, though. So that's fine. Right. So. Kind of abandoning this siege. You're going to go and sit here. Well, good luck with that. Um, I think we're going to catch them. We should do. Yep. So that army's going to have a hard time. Um, we do have the terrain penalty. And would you know, we won both of them. Um, lose one base tax somewhere. No, stuff it. They can lose the loyalty. And uh, sure, let's come back over here. Well, we want to go there ultimately, but we'll march through that stack on the way. It uh, looks like we will catch them. They will probably uh, get away. Because they did get a reinforcement tick. Just. But it was certainly enough to uh, severely hurt them. They've gone and sat up here, which I don't think we can get. Yeah, we can't get to that province, unfortunately. But we've kind of got them blocked in, which is good. Again, let's get the rest of these Catholic ones done. Uh, recall our diplomats there. Papal State is willing to peace out. But we are not. I mean, to be fair, we probably don't need, like, everything. But we'll take as much as we can. Not too bothered about overextension now. We're at that point in the game where it really doesn't matter about... Well, not sorry, not overextension. Aggressive expansion. We're at that point in the game now where it really doesn't matter anymore. So we've already got 97% war score. We're not going to be able to take Rome anyway. They are trying to train up troops down here, which is fine. So there's a 42% chance that a Kona is going to drop. Lost our CB against Spain. Oh, well, what a shame. Um, admin tech. Well, we're going to need to do some coring, but we're also going to grab that anyway. And the main reason I want to grab that is now we can get ourselves another idea group. So the question is, what do we want to take? I don't think we need another military group. Uh, trade could be really good for us. Certainly make some money doing that. Because it gives us global trade power, more merchants, more trade range, more trade efficiency, more trade steering. It's mostly about merchants. Admin ideas, we don't really use mercs. Core creation cost could be um, useful. Again, don't really use mercs. Interest is not really a problem we're going to have to worry about going forwards. Admin tech costs. We don't want to colonize. Religious, we're not that bothered about. Innovative. Again, mercenary majors. Institutions, we've already got them all. Um, war exhaustion. See, neither of them are particularly great. So unless we want to go for... An, well, we can't go for... We can go for another military one, actually. Because we always seem to be ahead on military. And money's not really a problem. 
Land leader shock, recruitment time, land leader fire, prestige from land battles, siege ability, land force limit modifier, discipline. I think we just go into offensive. Or we could go this one and get like even more stuff. Manpower modifier and income from vassals, hostile core creation, cost on us is more expensive. No, let's go for offensive ideas. And we can instantly get that one. I don't mind stacking up on military ideas. We're the Ottomans. We're supposed to fight. It's what we do. Uh, we've got this one. So let's... Um, no, we still can't get down there. What are we being blocked by? Still being blocked by this fort, of course. That's very annoying. Let's just go and split you guys up so you're not all sat in one province, suffering more attrition than you need to be. There's a 7% chance that Rome is going to fall. And for once, it's it's on my side. Let's go and see if we can't take another bite out of the uh, Papal States Army here now, then. We might be in a little bit of trouble with this navy. No, they actually fled. Um, we lost four lights, unfortunately. Although France were there. It could have been France that lost them. It's hard to tell who it was exactly. Now, can you guys actually get in there? No, you can't. You're still kind of protected behind this fort. Okay, in that case then, let's not mess around and let's just go and take what we want. So, sue for peace. We definitely want Verona and Ferrara. We have cores on both. If we can go all the way down here, which we can, that's really nice. Can we take Rome? We can take Rome. Let's do it. Um... And let's do that just so we split you in half. Now then, that would be a bit more overextension than I would like. So let's undo those. Let's not let's not be over 100% overextension. 97.2. We can just about manage that. That's going to give us a lot of aggressive expansion with everyone. If anything causes a coalition, it'll be this. But now we can just take a lot more money from them. Actually, can we get war reps from you as well? War reps. How much money has the Papal State got? We take four grand from the Papal State. Um, oh, we don't have this. But we can still take Rome. Yeah, we might as well still take Rome. I mean, we can still call it. Sure, 100%. And that's a lot of money. Oh, that's going to hurt the Papal State. That's really going to hurt the Papal State. Right, okay, so. First things first, what we need to do is... I'm sure all of these buildings are upgraded correctly. I mean, the amount of money the Papal State's got. Let's mothball all of the forts. We need to make sure we've got at least one army with a general in that stack. At least one army with a general in that stack. These guys will have to move out to the south. Um, ten heavies. You guys go back over there. Yes. Oh, we don't have any admin points. That's the problem, isn't it? So we won't be go going to war for a little while there. Um, you guys go over to Salento. You guys... Um, stick down here because I do have one army in the south and you guys are all black flagged so I'm going to get you to march around we're now an embezzler we get yearly corruption why why doesn't my um why aren't I actually ever getting decent uh, stats on my rulers anymore this feels very unfair and let's get you, some of you guys up and to the north but yeah we we'll definitely want to keep some guys around so, yeah, we lost a few lights, which is not... We almost lost another one. Uh, you want to go back on to protecting trade? Uh, and Genoan trade node, I suppose. And um, any damage, you can go and repair up. But we will also want to get you a... Um, no provinces available to build in. How do you work that one out? Um, 
conversions. Well, let's not do the Catholic ones because we need to core them, although that'll take a while. Uh, what was that? I actually dismissed that. France just did what? Um, where's the log? Log, 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 log. Log. Um, France sent diplomats to improve relations with the Papal State. That's obviously not the message that it just gave me, surely. Hmm. Netherlands have set France as their rival. Well, that's going to be a problem because we're basically um, allied to both of them. So that hurts relationships a little bit. Aggressive. You see, even France don't like me because of the aggressive expansion. Allied to rivals. So we get minus 25 with each of them because we're, we're both allied to rivals. Let's go ahead and start getting some of these um, cores. Uh, Rome. Yeah, let's go ahead and call Rome as quickly as we can. That should be our priority. I think we'll keep both of those stacks there. Although we do have two different leaders there, which is not... Is one of them just died? We just lost a leader somewhere. Yeah, one of the leaders that was there just died. That's fine then. Uh, does mean we can get another leader again. Always worth doing it just after... A, it's a, Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag, right? Because you've got the option. What do you do, right? When a leader dies... Some people say wait until you go to war, because if I hire a general now, he might be dead before the next war starts. However, it's better to go and get a general when you've got higher army tradition, and it's, which is normally going to be straight after a war. And we get ourselves a 4-6. Wow, look at that. 6 shot. 4-6-3-1. That is not bad at all. Um, let's go and just put you up here somewhere so we know where you are. Uh, more conversions to do. Again, let's stick with the Coptic ones. But that was it. We've took, taken a nice little chunk out of Italy now. We will need to go to war with Spain again at some point. Spain are still allied with... Well, Sax Lewenberg we don't care about. Um, enemy allies. Is that because they're Defender of the Faith? Um, yeah, France is still Defender of the Faith, so that's why they would... Uh, but they won't come in anyway because they don't like Spain. Why won't they help me, though? They're fighting in another war. They've got war exhaustion. Um, so, yeah, if they weren't fighting in another war, then we'd actually be able to get them in on our side against Spain. Who are you fighting against? Again, the 5th French Pakajan Imperialist War. I'm guessing these guys are like a, um, a, a native... Uh, somewhere in America. And the AI is doing its usual thing of starting wars, but not actually sending any troops over to deal with it. Hence the reason this is the fifth war that France cannot win against natives. Which is really, really annoying. Uh, but that should be fine. Austria, who are you allied with these? You're still allied with a lot of people. But I mean, we know we can beat Austria, and I'm sure France will declare war on them again before long. We can grab even more stuff. Truces are ending. Um, but looking at the time, it is a good place to end the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as the Ottomans. I will see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.